pink. Time for coffee. Coffee pot is on. Tyler talked a big game yesterday about, or was it two days ago, about how he made a pot. Oh, it was yesterday. And uh, that was great, but he didn't set it again. So we're back to not having a pot ready. <laughs> so today we have a doctor's appointment for Shishi, like a regular doctor's appointment. But we're changing our insurance. <laughs> Don't get me started on health insurance. <laughs> anyway, uh, at the start of the year. So we wanted to make sure she got her 18 month appointment in before uh, everything changes basically. So that is what we're doing. So we're taking her today and they seem to not think it was a big deal that she would have just have the tubes in because they were like, she'll be fine. So she slept really well last night. If you didn't see yesterday's Vlogmas where you see the surgery Gigi went through, um, I'll link yesterday's Vlogmas below or just check out the Vlogmas playlist because it's all on there and it's all in order. So that went well. She slept all night long. It was so great. She, I think she just desperately needed a really good night's sleep. Um, and so then we'll get her up, we'll go to the doctor, and then we'll be back to work, 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 work today. I've got a lot to get done. I know Tyler does too before, really before the weekend sets in, you know. Mm. I'm still working on this Javelia coffee and I'm still obsessed. And anytime anyone's over, I make them smell it. <laughs> I just noticed something and I wanted to show it to you. So I'm using the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. It's been one of my all time favorites for like two years now. I wanted to show you what my personal favorite uh, like finish in a foundation is or coverage maybe. So I have done, I haven't done concealers. You can see right around my eyes, no. And I have not put anything on my forehead from here up. This coverage is exactly what I prefer. Whether you can still see the skin beneath it, you can still see little bits of freckles, but it looks hydrated. It's definitely evened out, especially when you look at my skin there versus, you know, my skin here. Do you see what I mean? And I, as I've been playing with more and more and more foundations, I feel like most of my foundation collection, most of them are not what I like. Either the shade is all wrong, so I'm always having to mix it or, and so there's a reason I'm always going back to this because I love it or like my Misha BB cream or the CoverGirl one I'm really loving, but even this shade wise is not perfect. So it looks better when I'm mixing it. And so my mission, I think in 2020, I'm obviously thinking a lot about the next year because I talked about this yesterday too. But I feel like one of my big missions will be find one or two really good foundations like this. I mean, this is one of my absolute favorites, but where the shade actually matches me too. And it's seemingly so hard to do. <laughs> I mean, I've had it where brands will send me entire collections, which is insane, but even with that, I can't find a shade that matches because my, you know what I mean? So that's just one of my goals, one of my frustrations of life. I know this is a completely ridiculous first world problem, but I know some of you guys are like, same. I'm trying to be better about recommending, if I'm gonna recommend to you all something that's like $40 and up. Sorry, we didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> anyway, so I'm trying to be better. Another 2020 goal for me, I should just do a video on all my goals for my channel, is to really be even more conscious of the price of things. So this is something I bought with my own money, this Charlotte Tilbury quad. And it might be one of the only eyeshadow palettes. And it's it's a small palette, right? It's a little quad. It's not even a big palette. So it's really pricey when you break it down price per shadow. This... I cannot stop using, and it hasn't been just for like a month or two. This has been for like the last half of the year. I just love it. For my personal taste, I use every single one of these four all of the time. I've almost already hit pan on this shade here, and that's what I have on today. I know like this lighting just washes it out, but this is what I like for every day, just quick, but it's still, I feel pretty. Like I like it, and so this is something that I can with confidence say, if you can afford it, it's not worth going into debt over, but if you can afford it, you might absolutely love this. Like I just can't stop using it. I guess what I'm trying to say is there are 10 million good ones out there, but when I personally find one that I'm like, oh my gosh, but this one though, that's when I wanna really shine a light on it. Here's a shot of it. I just like, I find myself using this all over, literally from my brow bone down to my lid all over. I use this in the crease and it kind of buffs everything together. This I'll use a little bit more um, specifically in the crease in the outer corner. This is just like an overshadow. So you just kind of tap it on on top. It actually is pretty. It's not like a traditional. At first I was like, what is this? And I still sometimes I'm like, mm. 
but it is pretty on top of the lid. Like if I'm going out at night, it's just this really light, subtle sparkle. So I just, I just love it, you guys. I wanted to try to show you it in better lighting where you can kind of see that sheen of that lighter shade. And I have it from brow bone to there. And sometimes I'll just do that and it looks nice, but then there's that like lighter pink buffer color. That's <laughs> So I was just looking, don't make fun of how messy my jewelry drawer is currently. Eventually I need to reorganize it, get rid of some blah, blah, blah. But I was looking at my hoops and I was like, wait a minute. All I could find were one rose gold one and one gold one. And then I realized, oh, the other ones are in my room because I wore them yesterday. And then I realized yesterday I was wearing one gold and one rose gold. That's all. <laughs> Just made me laugh. I'm surprised I didn't know. But then again, they are awfully similar. So this is the sweater I got at Costco. If you saw that video, I can link the video below. Um, it was under 15 bucks and it is literally the softest thing I have ever felt in my life. But it's not super scratchy. So that's nice. My normal hoop earrings. And then this necklace I can link. Uh, was an investment. I love, I love, it's just so pretty and dainty and simple. These jeans I've had for literally six years. I actually almost got rid of them and I was like, let me try them on again. And they still fit. They're a little bit actually kind of not baggy, but you know what I mean? Loose. These shoes were also an investment from the brand Blondo, but I've had them for a couple years and they're still going strong and they're waterproof. So love it, love it, love it. I love these boots. So <laughs> she is quite content. <laughs> Mickey Mouse is playing. <laughs> All right, we are done. Headed back to the car. She got her last shot before kindergarten, which is, of course, a million miles away, right? Yeah. Time doesn't fly, right? Anyway, so well, that is said, exciting. Uh, we'll see you at her two-year uh, two appointment. I'm like, that far away? And I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, that's, that's only like six months, months away. <laughs> anyway, so that's exciting. Also, she got a sucker for the very first time. And she She's never had a sucker. Yeah. She was like, uh, yeah, this is great. This is by the way, if you've been following us since we had Gigi and all of the drama of the original pediatrician we had and oh my gosh, we've literally gone through like three pediatricians. It's And it's not our fault. We're not like mean spirited, like the doctor needs to be perfect. It was just a lot of really bad things that happened. And insurance was a change, so that and was part it, of it. Yeah, but we're so happy with the doctor we have now. And so there is a happy ending to that story. If you were ever curious, we found the most amazing doctor. And you know what we found her based on reviews online. And she had literally so many five-star reviews and she is incredible. Yeah, so, she is awesome. And like Gigi likes her, which is rare because she cries for all of the nurses, but the doctor comes in and she's just like happy. And she's got all these little gadgets and toys and oh, she's awesome. But we stopped and got Einstein Brothers. We. I don't know that I've ever had Einstein, maybe once. Sometimes when I used to be like, when I used to work like in a corporate world, they would bring him in like on a, you know, one day like every six months. Like catering, bagels. <laughs> but it was stuff. just the bagels and the, the cream cheese at the shop. Bagel day at any job is the best it day. Was, it was like pretzel day. day on the office. Every six months just to well, keep I'll us working. pretzel <laughs> day. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, so I'm excited. I got like an egg, turkey sausage, egg sandwich. Your mom wanted a, um, she's going to be watching Gigi here in a bit. So we're bringing her stuff, um, a bagel and cream cheese and then. Yeah. I got like an egg sandwich, some kind of thing with like jalapenos on it. I love eggs. So, so I guess I'm sick. It just like came on me suddenly. I took a nap. I look crazy. And I've got like some ginger ale and some oyster crackers, but I do not feel good. Um, before you ask, no, not pregnant. It's just, I know there's something going around. Um, like my brother-in-law had something similar and then my little nephew did and we just saw both of them the other day. Um, I don't know. I'm just praying that like Gigi and Tyler don't get it, but so I slept for a little bit, like I said, like an hour and that felt good, but it was one of those, you know, where you just like, I just don't want to get up, but I've got some work to do. And while we have her here watching her, I'm like, I've got to get it done. So I'm going to try to barrel through and at least I was going to edit and film, but I'm like, if I can at least edit, that would be good. Filming, I mean, can wait. It's, it's just not that deep. And I know I need to take time for myself and Vlogmas is exhausting. Things have taken quite a turn. I'm like ultra sick, <sighs> way more than I was earlier. So I'm just in bed. I've been trying to sleep and you know how that is when you're sick and trying to sleep, LOL. It doesn't happen or it does, but it's in spurts and it's just awful. I'm hoping it's just like a 24 hour bug. I feel like that's kind of what I'd heard um, my relatives have had kind of 24 hour bugs, but we'll just see. I'm like, again, please don't let Gigi get this. I'm worried that Tyler's already screwed. But there's still hope for Gigi. Okay. 
It has been a day, let me tell you. So Jessica is upstairs, very sick. It came on like suddenly, and now she's super, super sick. So um, I don't know how long today's video is gonna be because we really have not, or I have not vlogged much because I was working and she was working and then she got sick. So um, we, uh, I just went to the post office. My mom stayed a little bit later so I could go to our PO box because we haven't done it in a couple weeks. Um, and then Gigi just had a little bit of dinner. We're gonna play for a little bit and then she's gonna go to bed. What you got there, Gigi? Did you put magnets on the refrigerator? Wow, Gigi. I wanna get more. Did you get some more magnets? You didn't get any more. Are you coming back to get these ones? Those are the good ones, you gotta get those off. You can put it back up here. <laughs> well, whatever keeps you busy. <laughs> So anyway, so Jessica is quarantined since Christmas is next week and we've got a lot of family events and I'm like, I'm hoping she can just go upstairs and hopefully she will feel better in the next couple days and Gigi won't get sick, most importantly. And I also would like to not get sick, preferably. Um, so um, I'm gonna put Gigi to bed here in a little bit. Once she goes to bed, I still haven't made Vlogmas live from yesterday. It's uploaded, I just haven't had a chance to make a thumbnail and stuff. So it's like 6.30 p.m. right now and that Vlogmas from yesterday or two days ago, whatever, I don't know, days are confusing. It's not live yet, so sorry to that later after the fact that it, came, it went up so late yesterday, meaning today for me, yesterday for you. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be our night. And then I might try and uh, get some gift wrapping done tonight um, downstairs in the basement, so we will we'll see what happens. We'll see, the, we'll see where the night takes us. <sighs> okay, girls are both asleep. Well, in bed, Gigi's still playing, and I, and I think Jessica maybe finally fell asleep. That poor woman is so sick. Like it just like this afternoon at like one o'clock or whatever, she just was like, I really don't feel well. Like this morning she was totally fine. And then just right out of nowhere, she, it's like she's like two days into a bad flu and it happened like that. So <clears throat> anyway, so I hope she's feeling better by tomorrow. So I'm gonna try and tidy up the house a little bit and then um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. I've got uh, <laughs> kind of the evening to myself. I might, uh, like I said, we, we took all of our packages downstairs or our presents. Um, so I might go downstairs and start wrapping some of that. But I know Jessica also wants to wrap some stuff, so I won't wrap it all, but that's probably what I'll do tonight. But I guess I'm gonna eat some dinner and I don't know, watch Bob's Burgers. What do I normally do? <laughs> okay, the house is pretty much all tidied up and I'm gonna just make myself a little dinner. I'm just gonna do these quick little burrito things. But I, I love these burrito things. They're so unhealthy, but they're just so delicious. And so I'm gonna throw those in the oven. And I was just thinking about, when I was younger, we used to get these things at like Sam's Club or whatever. And I was so weird every, like not every day after school, but a lot of times after school, I would come home and I would microwave these burritos and we had like bottled orange juice and I would eat burritos with hot sauce and sour cream and then I would have orange juice and it was like a thing that I did. <laughs> it's so weird. And looking back, I'm like, I don't really think that would be good, but I did it all the time. So anyway, that just got me thinking. Anybody else got weird stuff? What's the weirdest like food combination like you crave? Cause like, <laughs> We all just weird stuff, and now I'm like, I kind of want to try it with orange juice tonight. I probably will. Burritos are done. Got a bite here, ready to go. I also got a little small thing of orange juice. We're gonna we're gonna see how bad this is. If it's as bad as I remember, as delicious as I remember, we're we're gonna try. Here we go. All right, I got my burrito bite here. Hmm, it's exactly right. It's delicious. It's terrible. I love it. I want more, but it's awful. It's great. Now for the orange juice. Yep, tastes exactly like what I remember. Just weird, not a great combo, but a great combo. You guys should try it, but don't, because it's gross, but you should do it. Anyway, so as I enjoy my blast from the past here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. I got Bob's Burgers queued up, and I'm watching a holiday episode, of course. So uh, I'm gonna enjoy my little feast, and I'm gonna go to bed. Down here in the basement, Jessica's up in quarantine upstairs, because assuming Jessica's not gonna feel much better tomorrow, then I'll be on Gigi duty and she's still gonna be quarantined up there because I don't want her to get anywhere near Gigi because <laughs> I don't want Gigi to get sick. So so I'm gonna go ahead and call it right here and I hope you guys have a great night and I hope today's Vlogmas was okay. I have no idea what we filmed today, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see when it goes up. All right, good night guys.